the print has come to Ongol in Andhra Pradesh. Here, TDP is holding its annual plenary, Mahanadu. What's significant about this time is, after two years of Zoom meetings and virtual such Mahanadus, the entire cadre has now come to Ongol to meet the party chief, also former Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu, who's joining us on this special interview. Sir, so is this Mahanadu setting the pitch for state election tentatively in 2024 in Andhra? So every time you have directions in Mahanadu. So what is this? What's the direction this time? Yeah, this time is very clear. We wanted to save Andhra Pradesh. For that, our slogan is quit Jagan, save Andhra Pradesh. That, that's also a slogan. What's the slogan to the party cadre? Is it also prepping for the election? That, what I'm saying, always Telugu Desa party is bidding for power. We are working. Through power, through public policies, we are empowering people in so many ways. Either economically, politically or socially we are doing. That is what I am saying just now. With one policy, that is knowledge economy. And also IT as a tool. Indians are doing extremely well all over the world. In This is a, fortunately I am very happy. I promoted information technology from the beginning. You are seeing Hyderabad today. And also, if you go to any country in the world, there are Indians, among them, sizable number are from a Telugu people. And at the same time, they are getting better income compared to natives of the country. That is the power of public policies. Today, here, three years ago, he destroyed all institutions. There is no democracy. People are suffering with high taxation. And also he is saying, DBT, all these things, it is a humbug. All programs is structured in such a way, there is no transparency. And also he is not accountable for anybody, including CAG, Government of India, or Assembly, or courts, like that is are doing. Because of fear, he is creating fear. Suppose anybody will say, I am getting injustice, police will go and book a case and also rowdies will go and beat him with that type of fear is suffering and finally is getting frustrated yes Andrew. so all, all of this your party cadre will take it to the ground is that one of your strategies this time then that is what we are doing now not only do that strategy it is our duty to protect people that is what i'm doing Sir, also you're 70 plus now. The onus of take reviving TDP still lies on you. You know, you've done a lot of padayatras, a lot of yatras. Now, pandemic has changed how the way we look at health. So, is your age going to be a factor in how you're going to take forward PD, TDP? Not, nothing to worry. Even uh, our Narendra Modi also same of my age. But the performance is important. Nothing, no, nothing like that. Even um, we are working better than anybody. Today, all 30 years, people like you, you cannot work with me. We are, you know, a lot of interest is there on Mr. Lokesh's role. Is he going to take over from you soon or what kind of role is he going to play next? When is he becoming the party chief? In democracy, nobody can impose anybody for that matter. It is a 40 years party. There is a challenges, there are opportunities. Those who want to serve the people, they can come and work. We are not restricting anybody, anybody, any field for that matter, not only politics or legal or doctors, even legacies cannot alone help them. I am very clear. If you see one legacy with the same generation, they are losing. Some next generation, only transition limited, less in number. Third generation, Still, it is very less. So, legacies cannot play. Even startup, all youngsters. Nowadays, in knowledge economy, over no time, very quick, they are creating empires. That is where I am saying from the beginning, knowledge. So, you are putting it this way. The legacies alone will not help. They will have to prove themselves to take over that. Legacies, what I am saying, any field for that matter. What is legacy for me? I am asking you. My father was not a politician. I brought, 
I became a MLA and then from then onwards I have built. So opportunities are available, any field for that matter. Anybody wanted to survive, they can visualize, they can work hard and achieve it. Uh, a few weeks ago you made this statement that you are ready to make any sacrifice to get down the, to pull down the current government, the Jagan rule basically. So would this mean you are open to an alliance with BJP or Janasena? You know what I am saying, even today I am saying, we are fighting. They are booking cases against us. At that time people thought, they won't uh, do anything for them, it is only for Tilgudisam. Then they are in suffering, anybody will talk, they are attacking them. Now people are realizing, even all political parties they are attacking. And through police they want to suppress the agitation or criticism or anything for that matter. So what I told you, even now at that time, people should know what is right, what is wrong. Political parties, we can raise the awareness, we can bring the awareness. Ultimately, decision making is people. If they are aware, they are very sensitive. Even rulers will have fear. So would this would this mean you would be working with BJP or Genesis? No, I am not saying. But I am saying all these things. Alliance means, if you see history, both parties willing they will have alliance. So many times we had alliances with so many political parties for the last 40 years. Even BJP had alliances, even Congress had alliances, even Raj Sacred had alliance, all these things. It is only at the time of elections they will decide. So never say never, never say never, that's the thing. No, what I am saying, you wanted to interpret as you like, mm. but I am a seen the most politicians in this country. I have seen so many crises, so many options, alternatives we are able to create. But ultimately, people are with you. Everybody will work with you. If people are not, not with you, nobody will work with you. Neighboring state Chief Minister KCR has been conducting a lot of anti-BJP and uh, anti-Congress meetings. You've not been part of it, but if, if at all, uh, you know, there, there's a, a call from that side, would you be open to working with KCR on this anti-BJP, anti-Congress front? No, I told you, always media wants some masala. <laughs> but there's also curiosity about what Mr. Naidu wants, one of the senior most politicians in the country. To create some, uh, what I call, by any way you wanted to get some. No, no. Uh, the people, people in Telangana are curious, will Mr. Naidu work with KCR? That's a question I got from all the way from Hyderabad. What I am saying, you may get anything. You are so intelligent, you are loyal to your media. <laughs> okay. We are also very intelligent to have our commitment towards our public. So don't bother. We'll, we'll, all these things, what I am saying, I am having a heavy agenda. Today, if you see Hyderabad, you are uh, which place? I am from Hyderabad only. What I am saying, 95 I am, I was here. Yes. Along with you, Hyderabad has been developed? Yeah. Our, your growth? Yeah. That is uh, the development I have done. So, will you join hands with people in Hyderabad? Uh, yeah, what I am saying, that's why I am having one more responsible to build on the place. Okay. On now, our it is totally lost. People are not bad. They are intelligent. They are very capable, but role, the present government had made them to suffer. So, first responsibility to set right things here. That is my responsibility. Quick last two questions I've had. A lot of uh, political parties are hiring these political strategies. This uh, Mr. Prashant Kishore, then this Mr. Sunil, who's working for Congress in Telangana as well as Karnataka. So, who is TDP picking? Are you look, talking to any one of these people? Will there be a political strategy team for 2024? Yeah, we will tell you. At the appropriate time. Are there discussions with anybody? Be because I am telling you again. I am a visionary. People gave me CEO awards, all these things. IT, this thing. In this country, I promoted IT. I promoted investment. And I went all over the world, out of the way, to market. And ultimately, I brought investments. This is a new culture I brought for politicians. Now, I started business school 20 years back because to 
prepare leaders for future generation. Today, so many this type of IITs, all these people are coming. They are doing sometimes good or bad, but ultimately politicians has to rule. They don't have stuff. Consultants will guide them only one time. After that, what is going to happen? That is the exactly on the base what is happening today. So, so you are saying TDP will not look at consultants? Saying not ne what? If you have consultant, that is one. If you have IIT brilliant boys in back office, that is one. It is suitable to present conditions will work. But ultimately, leader has to lead. Only on consultant, that is Jagan Mohan Reddy, what is cheated on the race, it will happen everywhere. So that way, I think you are saying TDP will not look at consultants like that. You have professionals, nothing wrong in it. Even if you are a company, you don't have time, what you will do? You will keep good CEO. That is the beauty of Andhra people, I am telling you. What Andhra people? They are entrepreneurs. What they will do? Excellent Andhra Mathilugu people. That is what I used to promote. Telugu people are very good entrepreneurs. They are having resources. They will give a vision. They start companies, earn beautiful CEO, best salaries, produce results. That is what is happening. So not I am not commenting is right or wrong, but consultants alone cannot run the state or temporarily they will bring awareness or wrong news because we are paid. They will do as they like. We may get benefit. But ultimately, consultants cannot rule the state. Right, right. That people also should be aware. Right. Quick last question. Why should people look at TDP? Quick two references here. When TDP was in power, there was no fully functional capital, although Amaravati was on paper. Years into after Jagan rule, Andhra still does not have clarity on capital. TDP could not get special category status. And Jagan government could not get special category status. So why will people look back at TDP now? What is going to be the fresh thing? I mean, why should people basically look at the party? Always for a brand. Why you are uh, going particular brand? I'm asking that question. The reason is that brand is reliable. Sometimes you may have ups and downs. You are having credibility, people will listen to you. We are having a past history. We have done extremely well. It is visible. People are getting benefit out of it. Sometimes people thought somebody will give better than that. In experience, it is not so. That is what is happening in other place. If they should have continued our government continuously, they should have benefited a huge, lot of benefit. Because of discontinuity, people are suffering and they are all feeling frustrated. People are with us. That's why I'm saying it is my responsibility to reconstruct to rebuild the state. Will we see you a lot more on the ground now? Will we see you a lot more? Lot, lot of Zoom meetings and all had been that's because of pandemic, but... Uh, because of pandemic, now we will be in field. We will ask our people to go to field. We will mingle with people. And then we are going to create excellent impact. Thank you so much. Well, that was uh, former Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu joining us on the print, clearly indicating that he is going to be a lot more visible on the ground in the run-up to 2024 elections in Andhra. And as he says, age definitely is not a factor. This is Rishika Sadam for the print from Ongol.